Echo and some of the moves that we've seen within the gameplay trailer. So to begin with, we can see that he does a jumping move and he goes and does a double jump. You can see a double jump right there when he goes in to get Jinx and just as he jumps, he does another jump to dodge protector and comes in and does a slash over, which is very interesting because he gets in and then hit confirms and then follows up with three different attacks. If I roll that back now, he does a one, does a one overhead slash, does another one like a batter swing, really gets Jinx knocked back and then he goes and charges pushes in and then does an overhead one and then leaves a clone of himself behind, which is very interesting because then he can rewind to that clone at a later date. Then in a second little clip that we see, we can see that he just used Aro, well Jinx just used Aro as an assist and we can see Echo jump again. Then we can see him battering up and then he goes and does a slice. Uh, he moves in quite quickly when he does that as well and then he goes under the leg so we can see that this game has some sweet moves and hopefully he can block standing and crouching as all normal fighting games do work. And then you can see that he does kind of like a, a launch it, kind of like an uppercut. And that launches Jinx up into the air as we can see because it hits her quite hard and then she goes up and then he uses Ari to then get her and juggle her in the air. Ari from this kind of seems like she's going to be a very aerial support and then once you actually have people in the air you call on Ari to then do the dash 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 and basically do an ult but mid air. Then onto the next little clip you can see that Echo is now fighting Jinx and it, she, he dashes in very quickly into Jinx. Mainly just one tiny little jab goes in to slice with his blade. Goes slice again, does a knock up that we saw previously, the big swing that he does, and knock Jinx all the way up. And then you can see that he jumps up and then he meets her with a kick. And then he goes in and then he juggles her in the air. This could be in a form of kind of like an auto combo. And then he basically finishes this off with a big ground pound onto the floor, which then brings Jinx down to the bottom. And you can just see the very, very foot of Echo's clone just leaving uh, an imprint of him behind. Again, you can recall to this at a later date. So it's very interesting that you can leave them in the air above people. Then, whilst Jinx is coming to the ground, he then juggles him with a two hit. He then calls in Ari whilst she's against the corner. And then Ari uses the Fox Flames to then keep Jinx in the air. He then jumps back up and recalls that clone that he did have. And he does another slam down the exact same move that we just saw three seconds ago. And then he leaves it there. So then onto the next little bit. He starts off with the normal combo again. There's two swings that we saw again previously on the other two things. And he jumps up to meet her, but this time instead of kicking, he then does a slice. Then he goes in, then he does that knockdown move again, the grand pound move, which comes in, calls in Ari again to then Foxfire, but this time it's not against a wall, so she gets pushed back. He's also left another clone to where he was before, so he probably could recall to that. Then Jinx is on the floor, but he, instead he throws his time bomb up into the air and it just goes above Jinx and then it comes down again. Then he goes in, jumps over Jinx, does a little bit of a cross up, then knocks her back into the time bomb that he placed before. So it's very interesting how you can leave the bomb somewhere and then recall and then knock someone into it. Not only can you throw it in the air, knock it, and then goes towards someone, kind of like a Hadouken projectile, but you can throw it in the air and they can knock someone either into it or you can knock the thing to the person. So as long as the person's made contact with it, it's still good and sound. Then he finishes it off with another two hit combo and then she goes kind of flying and he does that another the, from the first clip that we see. He comes in and he does a big overhead sweep and dashes forward and leaves a clone of himself behind. So very interesting gameplay there. Lots of dashing, lots of clones and lots of recalling. And it, it's very interesting how his time bomb works. You can throw your time bomb in the air recall and then knock someone into the time bomb or then knock the time bomb into someone else. You can probably do some very interesting plays. I can imagine that Echo is going to be a very technical character and very big brain stuff can go on. You can probably catch people out with a lot of mix-ups and repeat a lot of moves again and again. It'd be very interesting to see how people develop with this. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a little breakdown of Echo's moves. Hopefully you can see how he works a little bit and you can see how he uses a time bomb in conjunctions with his recalls and it's very, very interesting indeed. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.